going over the radiographic positioning and techniques for upper body extremities. Position of the humerus. We will go ahead and have our patient in this case, he will be erect. We'll go ahead and have him place the hand like that externally. Make sure the hand is supine. You want to make sure that you have an external rotation for the humerus. Okay. Point of that is you want to make sure that you include the elbow and the shoulder joints. So, shoulder joint, elbow joint. Our central ray is going to be midline to the mid humerus. So, your central ray should be around here. That would be mid humerus. It's going to be taken at 40 inches SID. So basically, you want to make sure that you include, you start your order is going to be here up to the elbow joint and you want to make sure that the hand is rotated externally for it to be in a true AP and the exposure is taken. Now for the lateral projection of the humerus, I will have my patient make sure that he is he's going to be, he's going to be erect. Make sure that his shoulder and everything is touching the IR straight on the IR. You want to make sure that his hand is internally rotated right there. So that's going to show us the left tubercle and the humeral head and profile in the So hand internally rotated. Good job, patient. The central ray is going to be perpendicular to the mid humerus. So I should Because remember, you also want to include elbow joint, but you also want to include shoulder joint as well. You also want to make sure that the patient is slightly flexing the elbow, but not completely. The collimation, you're going you're gonna to collimate just beyond the skin line. And the lesser tubercle of the humeral head will be in profile immediately. 